Okay, here we go. So Ani, in addition to that is uh, Kevin Myron. Ani, uh, Jordan Disnikas, my spirit name is He Climbs the Rocks. Ani Disnikas, Dakota Myron, my spirit name is Who Flies with the Eagles. And my spirit name is uh, um, Sets the Grass on Fire. Uh, so we were asked by the Early Year <clears throat> Center to uh, come on and do a few songs and uh, talk about our songs and do a little bit of language, right? So the language that uh, we're going to talk about today is the language of the drum, right? And uh, this language here, it's a universal language, okay? Um, usually we sing around a, a great big drum, right? And we don't have all our singers with us, right? So we can only do a family thing today, right? So we're going to use our hand drums, right? But the meaning around that, that drum didn't change, okay? And I'll tell you guys a, a little bit of a story, not the whole story, just a little bit of that story, right? There was a... A time when uh, all our communities and nations uh, we weren't getting along, right? and we were fighting. And uh, this big drum come around during that time. It came from a dream, right? And uh, the young lady who dreamed of this drum, she was gifted songs that went with it. Except, right, these songs were different. They had no words in them. So all the songs that we're going to sing today are not going to be word songs. They're going to be the original songs that were meant to, to, to be sung. Now, the reason why there was no words in those songs, right, and this is a universal language, right, is so that uh, we could share amongst each other and have a universal language. So it didn't belong to the Ojibwe, it didn't belong to the Haudenosaunee, the Cree people, the Dakota. It was universal and meant for all of us to sit together and sing together and learn together and celebrate together. So without no further ado, okay, uh, maybe you can ask us to come on and talk about the, the, the longer story about the drum. But uh, without further ado, we're going to sing a couple songs for you guys. Uh, the boys pick the songs here that, that move them, and we're uh, happy to share. And thank you for having us come on. All right, boys, here you go.
and uh, the honor beat is a time when all the all the dancers raise their staffs and they hoot and holler up to our ancestors that are watching. So some people don't know this, right? But at a powwow or at a celebrations, there's a lot of circles, right? You know, and the, the one circle is the singers, right? The other circle is uh, the um, the girls around the drum that sing. So I like to invite our my daughter Sage Myron. Come on in and uh, to join in for this for this uh, next song here, and just uh, to, to show that that the girls sing too, right? And if, if she like, and then uh, after that girl circle, there's a barber, right? And then there's a uh, another circle of dancers. There's another circle of spectators, and after that circle, right, there's a circle of spirits and ancestors, right? And they raise their staffs up to those spirits and ancestors. I just want to give out that little quick teaching before uh, before we continue on to the next song. You boys ready for the next song? Yeah. Are you okay to come up stage and sing? Yeah, yeah stage come. Right, come on in. <laughs> To share a little bit of our songs with you, and uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed, right? And uh, I hope you learned a little something during this uh, about circles, right? And about that big drum, and about uh, about the language around that drum. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>